Hi. So I'm here with the doctor because I have uh, I haven't been feeling well, but I don't have a cough. I think it's like low blood pressure because I was eating junk food and drinking lots of Coca-Cola diet, which is really not good because the sugar substitute is very unhealthy. So this is the what it looks like. When I came here, there was a very happy, what is the word, jubilant kind of atmosphere, which I found was a little bit... And I'm coming there and they just ignore me and they're just like laughing and having a great time. It's a great time to be to be working in a clinic because you always have a job. Yes, I know we're supposed to say, oh, they're risking their lives and blah, blah, blah. But the truth is they have a job. They have a job. They have a salary coming in, which is more than a lot of people have these days. And I think when you come into a clinic, they're all having a good time. They, they're just so insensitive to how a person feels coming in a clinic, not feeling well. I've been feeling really sick and dizzy and worried. And I come in and they're all like celebrating, celebrate, da, 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 da. And it's like, they're so insensitive. And this is very typical of Israeli society. Very, very not seeing the other person. I always feel like I'm like invisible. They form little closed circles and they just don't see you. And granted, when I was living abroad, I had the same feeling that I was a foreigner, but I'm supposed to be part of this society and I just don't feel part of it. I think instead of complaining, I should have volunteered. I don't know where I could volunteer. What I do is I bring the newspaper to my elderly neighbor every day. There's a daily newspaper that's for free, handed out. And I go with the dogs and I bring it and I put it at their door. And I think they're very happy. Their daughter t tells me on uh, the internet they're very happy about it. I don't have direct contacts. Um, I would have offered them more help. I will ask the dog. I will ask them. I'll put a note if they need more help. One thing is to help your neighbors um, and just try to try to help myself. And that's the hardest thing <laughs> to clean the apartment, to, to have a holiday atmosphere, uh, to get along with your family. That's, that's a formidable task. So I'm here with this stupid mask and I wonder why, why do I have this mask on? <laughs> Everybody looks better though with this. You know, yesterday I told this Muslim, it's, the, the Arab world has been so ahead of its time because, you know, you have the hijab, you have this, is it not hijab is the head cover. I, I forgot what it's called, the, the whole black thing you wear entirely. And it makes sense. Now we know it makes sense. I feel like Larry King, you know, Larry David, he always has this scenes and Kirby enthusiasm sitting in the doctor's office. So this is what it looks like here, very basic. They don't invest too much in furniture-wise. Um, the health insurance in Israel, the clinics have been looking the same since I was a child, which is like, what is it, 40 years, 50 years? It all looks the same. Unbelievable. Very ugly. And the people are also, you know, I have a good doctor. She's okay. But yeah. I'm just going to see what she's going to say about my dizzy because I was very dizzy yesterday. The whole room was like, and I saw black spots in front of my eye, which could indicate low blood pressure. And I'm going to ask her what to do about it because it was really scary. Um, and I've stopped uh, practicing yoga since then. So what can I show you? Let's look at the bright side. I just really wonder why people are so insensitive to other people here. They just don't have this ability to look and see the other person who's standing in front of them. And I, I don't think that's something that I have. But this, this, this thing for weighing people has been for centuries here. <laughs> so this is the clinic. Very basic. People here are very rough, very unpleasant usually. And I think it will eventually form emotional problems in me. Because at least in Europe there's manners. People don't give a shit about you, but they pretend. Here, there's no pretension. Uh, some people like that. It's called tachlis. It's called being dugri, being honest, that they don't care about you. But it's just so blunt and so tough. It's like, uh, every time it's like a knife, because it's so clear that you're just not on their agenda. You're not on their weight. Like, you're not in their radar system, you know? You're just like, you're meaningless. Your existence is just not important for them. And in Europe, what they do is they say, Guten Tag, have a good day. Or in America, they say, how are you? Without caring, but 
Fake phony but it works. Because fake phony works. When you pretend to be nice, it also works. Pretending creates a situation. Like if I smile, even if it's artificial. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to be nice. Okay, drink lots of water is my advice. And complaining is really not good. I'm trying to think how I can make this a better place. How I can improve. And, um, yeah. Okay. Drink lots of water. And have a wonderful day and keep safe. They say stay indoors. I don't agree. I don't agree. Go on a hike for all I care. But as long as you keep your distance and wear your mask when you meet people. I avoid... Like if I see a person, I keep distance. And it does nobody a favor if you're going crazy at home. I really don't get it. I understand we shouldn't be in crowds. That I perfectly understand. Uh, I see people jogging. I think that was the best because you're moving. Jogging, walking. In places that, you know, not. I think the worst place is a supermarket. If you go to a supermarket, you're surrounded by people. So, that's my advice anyway. I think I look good in this mask. Peace, love, and love. Bye.